There is a flat earther on TikTok who seems to have gained quite a following recently with his flat earth content. His name is Ryan and he has amassed over 100,000 followers on the platform. Recently Ryan made a video which he thinks debunks the globe with an observation. Now we know how those usually go, don't we? Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a big thank you to the sponsors of this video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes online privacy protection easy and attainable. Encrypting all internet traffic sent to and from your devices and ensuring your IP address remains hidden to make sure no one can see what you do online. Now on top of that, they block ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts, and unlike other VPN services, you can use it on as many devices as you want simultaneously. I personally spend as much time online as I do sleeping at the moment, six to eight hours per day. The internet knows a hell of a lot about us, and it's why we should care about our online data. And you can use Surfshark to encrypt your personal information and send it via a secure VPN tunnel so no one can see without your permission, which is great for protecting things like your ID. ID theft is an increasingly common and scary crime. You can use Surfshark and its Hacklock system to get alerts anytime your email address or password is compromised. Hacklock scans various databases of leaked information and then notifies its users if their data is found so that they can take action. Secure your privacy with Surfshark. Enter the coupon code SIMANDAN for four extra months three at surfshark.com slash SIMANDAN. Okay, on with today's video, which as I mentioned earlier is from a guy called Ryan on TikTok. Now, he claims that he's debunked the globe with an observation he has personally made. Let's see if he's got this one right and indeed has debunked the globe in the process. Here we go. Come here. I really need to show you something. So please get a good look at these buildings. This is one, two, and three Lakeway Boulevard in Metairie, Louisiana. We are about to do a long distance, non-edited shoot from 24 miles away with a Nikon P1000 camera. And you can look this up. This is at the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain or Causeway Bridge in and near New Orleans, Louisiana. Get a good look at these buildings again. Kind of memorize what the tops look like because it will be important. I've got it in the bank, my friend. Okay, well, no problems so far. You're looking at Materi, Louisiana with the flat earth camera of choice, the Nikon P1000. Got it. All right, guys. So... Let's get started here. We are in Mandeville, Louisiana, and I am on a pier on the lakefront in Mandeville, Louisiana, looking towards Metairie, Louisiana, right next to New Orleans. This is a 24 mile long bridge, and at the end of this is a building called Three Lakeway Boulevard. You can look this up, and we'll do the math here in a second. Okay, I think the first thing to do then is to check just how far away those buildings are. Is he correct on the 24 miles? Now, I can't be sure exactly where this photo was taken from, but it does appear to be roughly 24 miles, if not a shade under. So no problems there. I have a tape measure and I'm not going to stop this footage. So I need you to pay attention so that people can say that there's not been any editing done. Let's go ahead and see how high this camera is from the surface of the water when I lay down. I'm gonna lay down on the surface of the water here to the pier is 16 inches, okay? Now, let me flip this around and we're gonna lay down and we're gonna zoom in on that building. Great stuff, you do that. So a view height of around 18 inches then if we take the camera itself into account. Got it. Sorry for the hiccup. And sorry that I can't speed this up. You're just gonna have to watch it. But we're about to zoom right in on those buildings. One, two, and three, Lakeway Boulevard. I assume we're going to see these buildings in his footage, otherwise he wouldn't be releasing the video, would he? I wonder if we see all of them, though. The first thing we're going to hit is a 16-mile-long 
away from this shot is a drawbridge. Hang on, that looks like the drawbridge is at a slight angle. Now I have to admit, this piece of footage made me rethink the location that Ryan is shooting his video from. And I believe that Ryan is here. The reason for this is if we look at the Google Street View, we can see that thin wall-like structure that he is standing on here. And if we look at the footage, he pans left when he first starts zooming in. This is the only place where you can get a clean view where that makes sense for the drawbridge to look that angle. And the heavy breathing, it's really hard to lay down on a pier with a camera. And I had the microphone right next to my mouth. This is 16 miles out. Breathing the heavy. At a drawbridge. Now I'm going to break down the curvature in just a second. 24 miles is 340 feet of curvature should be missing, okay? 340 feet. Okay, Ryan, if you say so. And I'm going to show you how high each one of those buildings are in just a second. Okay, watch this. And that is that is three Lakeway three right here, Lakeway Boulevard, in Metairie, Louisiana, sixteen inches off the ground. Ryan, the middle one is almost bloody missing. Come on, I thought this was going to be mind-blowing proof. <laughs> it's not refraction. What, so we're just gonna say that a natural phenomena no longer exists, are we? In fact, the method you've chosen here favors heavy refraction. Refraction of light is generally more pronounced in air close to the water's surface. This is because of the changes in the density and temperature of the air just above the water, which can create a gradient in the refractive index. Dear, oh dear, Ryan. You can't just dismiss it. Get my focus here. That is 380 feet tall. It's 403 feet tall, but I'll go through that in a second. This one is 193, and that one is 269 feet. So a 193 foot building is totally missing, but the earth is flat. Gotcha. I'm gonna pull the camera all the way out to show that I'm still on the pier laying down. This has not been edited. Come all the way out with no cutting, all the way back to the pier. Great. And of course, totally oblivious to the fact that he would have had to have viewed over the causeway, which is totally missing in his footage. Probably should have started with this graphic, but this is three Lakeway, which is 403 feet tall. This is one Lakeway, which is 193 feet. And this is number two. Lakeway Center in Metairie, Louisiana. It's 259 feet. Now remember that, 259, 193, and 403. Yes, great, but the buildings on the other side of that lake are built on land about two feet above the surface of the water, so we've got to take that into account too. So the eye level is at H0 right here, okay? That is at 1.33 feet or 16 inches. Then you have the curvature that follows over here all the way to H1, which is what those buildings were 24 miles away. The curvature is 340 feet right here, okay? You can look this up on any Earth curvature calculator or do the formula yourself, but watch this. That line for three Lakeway, one Lakeway, and this is number two, this is 269 feet. The curvature should have stopped way up here. This is how far I should see. I should only have seen about 20 or so feet of this building right here. 
okay? Let's see, shall we? Because you do have to take refraction into account, especially over water. So let's use a curve calculator that does that. So we put in the curve calculator 1.5 feet, because we're including the camera itself, and the distance is 23 and a half miles, just a shade under 24. And with all that information in there, we should be seeing 273 feet missing or hidden. Now, this matches reality much better, doesn't it? Now it's not exact, as I imagine the refraction is much greater due to your proximity to the water. But forgetting all of that, you're totally ignoring the fact that some of those buildings are missing, including most of the second one. Where is your explanation for that on a flat earth? Now, I can see not only, I know I can see at least 200 feet of this building because that one is 193 feet and this is 403. This is 269 feet. We should be obscured at 340 feet meaning the Earth's curve should have hidden this building right here by another 71 feet. We are seeing not only the top of this building, but further down. So more like 100 feet is missing completely. The Earth is flat, guys. This is my personal camera. I did this completely. I know it was kind of boring from start to finish, but it's to show that I was right there on the water, zoomed in and zoomed out. Please disprove this. Somehow, some way. please, somebody disprove this. And don't you dare say refraction. Because this was a video. It is not a mirage. Oh dear. Someone does not understand what refraction is, do they? And you can't just say, don't you dare say refraction. That's like me saying, can you tell me what you had for breakfast this morning, but don't you dare tell me you put the food in your mouth. Just awful, awful proof from Ryan here. This really is. So I'm going to wrap this one up and say we're all done and dusted for another Flat Earth Friday. Thanks so much for watching, it truly is appreciated. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Ryan's observation there. If you really enjoyed this one today, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're very, very close to that 600,000 subscriber mark now. And of course, if you really, really, really enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated too. Just enough time to once again thank Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Remember, use the coupon code SIMANDAN to get your four months extra free at surfshark.com slash SIMANDAN. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Saturday session where we'll be checking out the Confidently Incorrect subreddit. Should be fun. See you then. <laughs>